Hey there everybody, it's Thorpian. You might have heard about bizarre flipping and wondered if maybe you could do it too. Well, after watching this guide, you'll be a bizarre flipping expert and you too can make 500 billion per hour. Not guaranteed. So first question is, what do you need to get started to do bizarre flipping? Well, nothing. Technically, but it would be a lot easier if you had some starter cash. You can check out my NPC flips video for a great way to make some bizarre flipping adjacent starter money that'll also teach you a little bit about NPC prices, which can be very helpful for bizarre flipping. Another super great convenience is the booster cookie. Now, this is crazy expensive. I'm not gonna lie, it is a very expensive item. You do get some of the money back from the bits if you sell the stuff you can get with bits. It's also super convenient for lots of other things. But most importantly, in our case, it will allow you access to Bazaar anywhere in the Hypixel world. So you can Bazaar flip while also doing other stuff like dungeons or, I don't know, farming, I guess, if you're crazy like that, like me. Also, to Bazaar flip successfully, I highly recommend becoming familiar with NPC sell prices for items, because this will help you to know what price they gravitate towards, either as a maximum or a minimum price. And I'll talk a little more about this later. And finally, in order to become a master bazaar flipper, you should keep watching this video. But before you do, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Currently, less than 5% of my views are from subscribers. So if you want to help other players out by allowing them to discover these guides, please sub. Okay, so first question is, what is the bazaar? The bazaar is an automated marketplace for bulk items. In other words, if you want to buy a lot of something like 700,000 redstone or 50 enchanted redstone blocks, it's on the bazaar. There are a few exceptions to this. Um, there are some things in the bazaar that you might only want one of or 10 of, especially like the enchants. And there are some things on the auction house that you might want 50 of. I'm not really sure why they did it the way they did it, but whatever. Now, this is really important because when flipping, you need to keep that in mind. You, when you're bizarre flipping, your goal is to flip lots of items, right? So for example, you could buy 100,000 salmon opals, but people only want one for every bow that they have, assuming they would even want any ref this reforge for any of their bows. I mean, it seems okay, but it's just not a great thing to flip 10,000 of because every player would probably want one, maybe two. So not a good thing to flip. So then the question becomes, well, how do you flip? What do you do? You buy items for a low price and you sell them for a higher price. I know that doesn't tell you anything, right? Don't worry, I'll get into more detail. What's really cool about bizarre flipping is that high pixel skyblock, if you pick any item, will automatically squish together all of the buy offers and all of the sell offers into a single menu. Unlike the auction house where you have to scroll through and see what people are buying and selling and what enchants it has and like what level it is and like all that kind of stuff. So the simplest and easiest way to bizarre flip is to buy something for higher than this buy price and sell it for less than the lowest sell offer. This is like super basic, easy flips. So for example, the current high price for coal the highest buy offer is 4.8. So I'm gonna create a buy offer for let's say a thousand coal, just to keep it simple. And I'm gonna make it for 4.9, so 0.1 above the current offer. So I'm gonna submit that order, it's gonna slowly fill, and now my buy order for coal was filled. So I'm going to not left click to claim, I'm going to right click this offer, but first I'm gonna check the coal prices. So the current best sell offer is 6.6. .6. And I'm gonna right click my coal, I'm gonna flip the order, and I'm gonna sell it for 6.5. And it'll even tell me what the expected profit is. So I'll make about 1.6 coins per coal. Now it doesn't seem like a lot when you only have 1k coal, but this is a pretty solid flip. Do it with 10,000, you'll get 16k. Do it with 100,000, you'll get 160k. So very, very solid money. And this will slowly sell until it's all sold. So that's it. That's the basic, very basic idea behind bizarre flipping. However, unless you're brand new, you probably didn't come here for the super basics. You came for the advanced strategies that will allow you to become a master bizarre flipper. So let's get to them and I'll tell you why they're important. First thing you should do is you should know the NPC prices or you should make a list somewhere. 
And that's important because some items almost always trade above NPC values and others are available in such bulk but are used so little that they almost tra always trade below NPC values. So for example, rough topaz is worth three coins to the NPC. Almost all of the gemstones most of the time are gonna sell for less than their NPC values. So this means that if I were to buy rough topaz right now for 1.7 or 1.8, it would be rather hard to sell it for 3.4 because it almost always gets sold to the NPC instead. So beware of flipping these items if the sell price is above the NPC value or if the buy price is close to at or above it because you're probably not going to make profit with a lot of items. You might be able to make profit with a few, um, but just be careful. Next thing you might want to do is you're going to want to check the current offers. So this is where we start getting into the big brain strats. So when buying lots and lots of items, the best price for flipping might not be like 0.1 above or 0.1 below the current price. And I'm gonna to try to find a good example of that right now. So here's a great example of why you might not want to do 0.1 above or 0.1 below the offers by checking other offers that are available. So for example, right now, there's a lot of people uh, buying wheat, right? The, there is a 22,000 wheat offer for 6.2, a 33,000 for 6.1, and then the next offer down is actually 5.9, and that one's got three offers for a total of 140k wheat. If I was doing this, and I wanted to put in a lot, like I'm talking like a million worth of offers, like a, a million wheat, I would actually do it for six coins per because the offers above mine are so much smaller than mine. So there may be buying like what I would call a small amount of the item, but no large numbered offers until a good bit below the current price. The same goes for sell prices. Some people want to dump items, but not at the current buy price. So they'll set a sell price that's a lot less than the best offer. Some people do this on purpose to try to manipulate buy prices down actually. So that's a whole nother story. So make sure that there's a big number for offers and then set your sell price just below that. For example, right now, if you look at the wheat, you'll see that there's 26K wheat available for seven coins each. If I was to sell my wheat, I might sell it for 6.9 if I didn't look at this. However, the next offer is at 7.9. So I could set mine at 7.8, wait for like 20K wheat to sell, which is basically nothing, and sell all of my wheat for 0.8 higher, which is going to be a big difference in the percent of money I make. And that's true of items that are higher priced, of course, like enchanted items or, you know, double enchanted, whatever. It's the same exact idea. Next super tip, beware of hyperinflated offers. Sometimes people will buy out the whole sell side of the bazaar in order to set weird sell prices and try to catch some people who aren't paying attention. 99% of the time, except like 90% with crops, since people auto buy those without looking at prices very often, you won't be able to sell anything at this price. So if you buy, for example, rough opal gemstones right now at 2.7 and expect to sell them at 398, it's not going to happen. You're just going to have a bunch of opal gemstones that you can't sell very easily. A really good way to check that is to look at compact and uncompacted versions. For example, this sell price is super inflated. This sell price is super inflated. But if you look at the fine, you'll see that they're very close to each other. So obviously these are not actually worth 50k for a flawed, especially when the difference in sell price for fine is so much less. High difference items, so items that are huge difference like this, will almost never sell. Now in this case, this is true because nobody's going to buy it for that much. However, there are some items, especially for example, reforged stones, where the, you know, the offer is like twice of the buy offer, but that's really because nobody wants this. So things that are huge difference means that nobody's flipping it because nobody wants it. So keep that in mind. If you see a deal that's too good to be true, it probably is. 
or you can only maybe sell one every like week. If you go in and make a buy offer for an item, the maximum amount you can set is 71,680. Make your life easier. Don't put 71,680, type in 70K or 71K, super easy. Elizabeth can make your life easier as a bizarre flipper. If you go to your profile upgrades and you get this, you can upgrade once for free. You get seven additional bizarre offers and one eighth of a percent less tax. It's really awesome. You can also pay to win here if you want um, and get more slots and an even lower tax rate with gems. Keep in mind total profit and percent profit. For example, you can flip snow very easily. So if we go to snow, you can flip this very easily. You can go, you can buy it for 0.2 and you can sell it for 0.5 or 0.3 and 0.5 if you want to do it easily. But that's 0.2 coins per snowball. So that's 14K per offer. That's not a lot of money. At the same time, if you were to flip coal right now, you could make two coins per coal, which is only 40%-ish profit, so less of a percent, but that's 140K per offer, which is pretty solid. Finally, there are a few websites out there that do bizarre tracking. We'll tell you how much of an item gets insta-sold or insta-bought. And if you want to go nuts, you can like calculate the amount you could maximally sell if you were the insta-seller, the insta-buyer for all of the items for the day. And it really helps you to choose like how much you could do. And I don't know. I, I don't do that. I just look at the sell and buy offers and pick one with a pretty decent gap, but of an item that I know people will actually buy and sell. And a lot of that comes from just trying it. Like if I, I know that if I set an offer for coal, that it'll get filled pretty quick. Um, I know that the same is true for mithril, for gemstones, things like that. If I set an offer for glowstone, it's going to be a little slower because it's not really something people flip a lot or people uh, mine a lot. So that's it, guys. Bizarre flipping is very simple. Um, you just want to buy something for low and sell it for high. Ideally, you want to buy it for higher than the other best offers and sell it for lower than the best offers. And there are a lot of variations on this. You know, if you look at the current sell prices, the current buy prices, you want to have a little patience maybe and you want to set it lower or higher. Um, that'll get you more profit. So that's how you bizarre flip. Um, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. If there's something I didn't cover in this guide, let me know. And keep an eye out for my next one about craft flips, which is actually my personal favorite. And please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.